Redditors who work at factories. What's the scariest thing you've seen a machine do to a person? My father and I worked in a box manufacturing factory. There is a machine called the shredder which is an 8 foot wide rotating crusher style blade that pretty much just shreds fed up orders that we can't ship out. Another thing about the factory it gets super hot in the building. Someone had been working by the shredder and passed out from the heat and had fallen into the shredder and ended up getting chewed up from the waist down. Dead before anyone even noticed he was missing. That's my current job. We have a shredder not 8 feet wide but has a conveyor part. So much safety around it. About a 8 inch gap to feed board. A little safety wire running parallel to the blades and a pressure plate thing under the belt. That guy was proper unlucky. That guy was proper unlucky I think what usually happens is that they add all of these safety features after someone like this guy gets killed. There probably weren't any of those features before it happened. You know what they say. Safety rules are written in blood. And then everybody ignores them or scorns people following the rules because they think it's just some pencil pusher in the office overthinking things out of boredom and a desire to add arbitrary rules. No. It's because someone died or got seriously injured. Maybe I've been watching too much industrial disaster YouTube. But the number of deadly accidents that have been caused by people going no. The safe way is too slow. I have my own way and it's fine is staggering. Sure. You'll mix more of that solution if you use a huge bucket. But is it worth dying of acute radiation sickness? Saw a cow walker's foot get severed by a dock plate that was not secured property. I got red wing safety boots from the company. Although I felt bad for the guy when he came back to work in a wheelchair with his wife to say hi. Dock plate f me. I keep telling my cow walkers to not stand so close to the things and they all just look at me like well I'm wearing boots so I'm finino. You're f I'm not. What's a dock plate? It's one of those ramp things on a dock that lift and extend or unfold. Depends on the model to make a ramp into a truck trailer. I watched a guy tip over a fully extended genie boom. The fall arrest whipped him around like a slingshot and unfortunately he didn't make it to the hospital. On another job, bridge building crew, a foreman tossed a large scrap lag bolt off the deck of the bridge. It hit a man directly in the hard hat 40 feet below on the ground. He died instantly. Foreman should be in prison. Yeah. Like isn't it flat out illegal to throw heavy objects off high places at construction sites? Even if it doesn't end up hurting someone. My cousin used to work for Rossis installing elevators in high rise buildings. He always told me whenever they were working up in the elevator shaft. If they dropped anything they would just yell headache to the guys below. I work on utility poles and we use the same phrase. Always wait for the up back and glance before I intentionally dropping anything. Yell it really fast if we accidentally drop something. Usually gives you enough time to brace for it. <laughs> Saw a 590F iron heat press crunch someone's arm at 7 bar. About 100C. The press had been acting up due to a wonky solenoid. While the operator was fixing a material rip due to the press. It grabbed him. And it didn't let go. Another operator heard the screaming. And took a ball peen hammer to the solenoid to release the pressure. F ed up day for all parties involved. All these press stories. I don't care what the fallout would be. I wouldn't work on a press without the heaviest damn jack or block of wood I can wedge in there. I worked around presses in it. I got my own lockout tag out training and lock just so I could safely work around the equipment. Only it person to have that in the factory. Cowalkers would just open up the cages and start working. Not me I went through the whole safety song and dance. Even if I was opening the cage just to grab the PC and walk out. Sounds like you got it made. Two arms. PFFT. Get a load of ten fingers over here. At a plastic factory a girl reached under a gate to try to pull a part that had got stuck in the mold out while the machine was shooting the next part. Her hand got shut in the mold when it closed and mangled her fingertips. Another time that I wasn't there a guy moved a panel off an electrical source to clean around it and got electrocuted. There was a complete breakdown of everyone's safety training. He was knocked unconscious and nobody remembered what they were supposed to do. The supervisor couldn't remember how to dial 911 because he didn't know how to use the phone to get an outside line since the phones were all connected to each other and you had to dial 9 plus the number if you wanted to use it like a regular phone. 
the guy ended up being okay. He shot up after 30 seconds or so and yelled I'm back. We had to retrain everyone on safety procedure after that. You had to dial 9 plus the number if you wanted to use it like a regular phone. This is the first thing I changed as the guy at a printing shop I worked at. No more dialing hash or zero to get an outside line. If you hit 111, 000 or 911 you'd always get the emergency department. I'm in the office and I fine hate it. 911 works directly, but you got to do 9 plus 4 normal calls. So I have to do 9 plus 1 plus phone number. The amount of times I called 911 accidentally in the last 10 years is way too high. Bowers even sent an email to everyone saying, if you dial it by accident don't just hang up. You need to talk to the 911 dispatcher and say it was a mistake. Otherwise they call back and get answered by the receptionist and now she has to find who the f called 911 and got cut off which can be a bit scary for her lol. Not a factory but a crusher. Heavy duty machinery mishap. The guy's head got smashed pretty badly and after 2 weeks of fighting for his life. He didn't make it. I'm still shaken to my core from that. Something similar happened in a gravel crusher in my area. I'm a caterpillar mechanic. Thank god I wasn't out on their job site that day because I had been many times. A new hire on the loader dumped a bucket of rock into the crusher. Still not known what he thought he saw fell into the crusher out of his bucket. Metal. Wood. Not sure. Anyway. He parked his loader out of the way. Told no one. Shut off the crusher and climbed in. No one had any idea he was in there. Next loader came along and dumped 8 yards of basketball sized rocks on him. The operator noticed the crusher wasn't running, so he got out to see. Saw the blood coming out of the bottom of the crusher. Kid was 18 or 19. Lock out tag out and tell somebody. Padlocks are essentials for safety. Yes they do. There was a guy who worked in a meat packing plant as maintenance. He didn't put his padlock on when they shut the machine off and he crawled inside. His right boot was the only thing that made it out. A family friend also forgot his padlock in the truck and decided not to go get it cause nobody was even in the department he was working 3 years ago. He has to learn how to be left handed now. I worked at a milk processing factory where we had to use both caustic and acids to clean out the pipes in between production cycles. We had to manually take apart the pipes and reroute them to go to the cleaning lines. I go to do this in a separate area. But a cow walker starts the wash without making sure everything is hooked up properly. In the middle of changing the pipe routing I get completely doused in dilute acid that was residual from the last time it was washed. I'm used to getting hit with water when hooking up these lines though. So I don't think much about it, but the water just does not stop flowing. So I get confused. About 10 minutes later I realize my skin is starting to burn. I got put out of work for... Thankfully, only first degree burns on 85% of my body with somehow no damage only to my face and genitals. It's scary to look back on because, if that was the caustic I got hit with, I'd probably be dead or severely injured. That stuff is meant to break down organic materials specifically. Yeah this is why places are supposed to have line break procedures. Without making sure everything is hooked up properly this was super common where I worked as well. We ended up investing a lot of money to add sensors to the flow vats and interlocks to the SIP systems. Management didn't like it when you started a SIP on a 5000 gallon cream tank that was still full of product lol. Not a machine exactly, but related to the machine. A maintenance employee climbed into a large silo that was used to store beverage mix. These silos have nitrogen pumped in on top of the product to achieve positive pressure and maintain sterility. The silo was empty of product, but still contained nitrogen. First employee climbed in and passed out due to the lack of oxygen. Another employee witnessed this and climbed in to save them. That employee passed out too. I believe a third person did the same thing before someone figured out what was going on and they got help. No one died thankfully. That sort of thing happens a fair bit in sewers as well. Scary stuff. As it only take a couple minutes to kill. Same with manure pits on dairy farms. Unfortunately it's often a family member that the second person is going in after. Just had this happen to three brothers a few towns over from me. It was a terrible tragedy. 